Hello Wayfarers and welcome back to my channel, Wayfaring Reader. Now on this occasion I bring you a book tag and it's been such a long time since I've done one of these videos that I'm super excited and I really wanted to make the mid-year freak out book tag. I haven't read that many books in this first half of the year and Oh my god, I'm just so behind on all my goals. It's just absolutely terrible. I'm not sure who created it. I have just found the questions, but I'll link the creator down in the description down below for you guys. First question is, best book you've read so far in 2018? For me, that is without a doubt, Call Me By Your Name. Now I have read a lot of good books, but this one just takes the cake. I've done a video of this, reviewing the movie, reviewing the book, comparing both, so I'll be linking that down below if you guys want to watch it. Both the movie and the book, I love them so much. The book has become one of my favorite books of all time because the nostalgia it evokes of that first love, of that first heartbreak is just so wonderfully done and masterfully written. It's just, it's just amazing. Guys. The second question is best sequel you've read so far in 2018. Truth is, I haven't read that many sequels this year. I've been reading a lot of new releases, I've been reading, rereading a lot of books, so I haven't read that many sequels. In fact, I've only read one, which is A Court of Frost and Starlight, which is kind of the fourth, fourth or the bridge book in the Actor series by Sarah J Maas. I do have a review on that, so I'll be linking that down below as well if you guys want to check that out. Um, and that wasn't that good to be included in this list, so instead I'm going to include the book I'm currently reading, which is The Mind Order, which is the second book of the Bone Season series by Samantha Shannon. The third question is a new release you haven't read yet, but want to. Now for this, I have like two. First is War Storm by Victoria Aveyard, because it's obviously the last book the Red Queen series and even though it may not be my favorite fantasy series of all time, I really enjoyed the previous books and I want to know how it wraps up. Plus, I've heard it's really good. I also want to talk about The Children of Blood and Bone. I've been hearing a lot of really great stuff and I really want to read it, so hopefully I'll get to that soon. The fourth question is most anticipated release for the second half of this year. And I have multiple. I can't just choose one. I'm sorry. Because we've got, first of all, Kingdom of Ash, the last book in the Throne of Bad series. It's going to kill me. It's going to kill all of us. Because we've been waiting seven freaking years for this book. And it's going to hurt. And it's going to be painful. And it's going to be wonderful. I'm going to cry my eyeballs out because it's going to be the last book in the Throne of Glass series. And I can't even handle it. But at the same time, it's just like, I need it right now. Please, Sarah J. Miles. It better be like 900 pages long because, oh my god, please. Second, Queen of Air and Darkness, because come on, it's basically the same thing. The last book in the Dark Artifices series by Cassandra Clare. I can't even with this series finale this year. It's also going to kill me because Lord of Shadow has already killed me and I'm laughing and I don't know why because it's going to be painful. This Is Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera. Now with this one, I don't really know if it's going to be painful or not because Becky Albertalli on one hand has like really cutesy romance, feel-good, fluffy novels, and then we've got Adam Silvera, who I love, but he creates sobbing sob vests. Sobbing sob vests, very eloquent, Alfredo, bravo. That you just tear your eyes out because they're painful and they're at the same time wonderful, but they're still super painful to read, so I don't know how that's going to turn out. We've also got The Caged Queen by Kristen Ziccarelli, because if you guys have been following me for a while, you know I loved absolutely loved The Last Namsara, and this is the sequel, the second book. It's kind of at the same time a standalone because it's going to be a trilogy, but each book has a different main character, but I'm still super anticipating it, and I can't even, and I'm sure there are more books I just can't remember right now, but those four books are just like, oh my god, I need them right now. Please come here soon to be, because I need you right now, please. The fifth book was Biggest Disappointment. I could talk about two books here. First of all, Akafas 
because it was very disappointing but since I've talked about that in the review I'm not going to talk about it so I'm going to talk about Renegades. I have talked about this briefly in another tag. I expected a lot more. Mercer Meyer is one of my go-to authors. I love The Lunar Chronicles, one of my favorite series of all time. And Renegades just didn't do it for me. The characters were okay, the plot was okay, but I wasn't that invested. The sixth question is the biggest surprise. Now for me this is the bonus season by Samantha Shannon because I bought it because it was on sale on Amazon and I was like, okay, I've heard people talk about this. Some have been pretty good reviews though. So far I've only seen good reviews. It can't hurt to read it, to give it a go. And oh my god, it was so good. It was just... I don't want to say anything because I'm going to review it, but just know it's this kind of fantasy, dystopian-y book series that takes place in, an, in kind of an alternative London where clairvoyance is outlawed and clairvoyants are persecuted. And it's very good. It's so good. Like, you guys can't even imagine it. Just go and read it. Believe me, you won't regret it. The seventh question is favorite new author. And here I have to go with Samantha Shannon for all the reasons I've talked about before. The eighth question is newest fictional crush. And I really have to check my list here because since I haven't read that many books, I don't think I have a lot of new fictional crushes, honestly. I don't really have a newest fictional crush this year. I'm just gonna leave that one blank. The next question is newest favorite character. And for this, I have to go with Paige Mahoney from The Bone Season. And I'm sorry, I'm being very annoying with The Bone Season, but it's just so good, guys. You have to read it. Paige Mahoney is a badass. She just take, take no shit from anyone. And she just serves mm, what everyone deserves left-handed and right-handed and she does not care what people think and even if she has to wait and be patient to act she is planning just every single thing in her mind so she is just kick-ass and I love her so much. The tenth question is book that made you cry and I've also talked about this book already but honestly it was just a sob fest and that was Call Me By Your Name because that book was nostalgia in book form, I was gonna say in person, no, in book form, in the pages, crying, sobbing. The next question is a book that made you happy. And for this, I have to go with a reread, and that was Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. That book just makes me grin. I cry from happiness each time I watch the movie in different scenes because I pick up on different things every time, and the book is just so wonderful. The next question is Favorite book adaptation you've seen this year, and obviously Love, Simon, I've just said this, I could go with Call Me By Your Name, but I'm sorry, Love, Simon Takes the Cake, it was glorious, it was good, it was just fantastic, I can't even with that movie, I want to watch it again. The next question is favorite review you've written this year. I do feel very, very proud of my Call Me By Your Name review on Goodreads, if you want to check it out, I think that was just really neat how it ended up, and I don't know, I'm, I'm pretty proud of that review. The next question is most beautiful book you've bought this year so far. And I have to think because I have lost track of the books I've bought this year. It's a tie between Cloaked in Shadow by Ben Alderson and Leah on the Offbeat by Beck Bertelli. And then the last question is what books do you need to read before the end of the year? And this is just <laughs> all the books on my TBR for starters. But honestly, on the top of my list, I would have to say Strange of the Dreamer because the paperback UK edition in like the small format came out, so it's matching with my Daughter of Smoke and Bone books, and I have that, I have to read that. War Storm, I have to read all the new releases that haven't come out yet that um, I also have to read. Children of Blood and Bone, I've talked about this. So yeah, just an endless list. So yeah, that's all for this video today. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Let me know down below what your favorite books are so far that you've read this year, and also just all of your other thoughts and comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to enter the Wayfarer family and receive new videos every Friday in both Spanish and English. You can also share this video on your social media and you can also follow me on Instagram at .g.misas. I hope you enjoyed this video guys and I hope you have a great day.